need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Have you ever run a query and wished that you could save the results set of that query as a permanent table? In Access, that is exactly what make table queries do. A make table query creates a new table as the output of a query instead of simply displaying the query result set. This new permanent table can be useful in a variety of ways. You could use it as a basis for other queries, such as a crosstab query, for example, or it could serve to back up important data, or it could show selected information from multiple underlying tables in a single table, which you could then export to Microsoft Excel for spreadsheet style analysis. Since the basis of the make table query is a standard select query type, you can restrict the columns and rows that are displayed in the new table by picking only the fields that you wish to view and applying query criteria. The fields that comprise the new table created from the make table queries result set retain the data type and field size properties that were assigned to the original fields. However, other properties that you may have set for that base table's fields will not be inherited by the new fields, so you may need to re-enter validation rules and set other field properties in the new table if needed. To create a make table query, first create a standard query in design view. Select only the fields that you want to include in the new table and use criteria to restrict the rows selected if needed. Then click the Make Table button that appears in the Query Type button group on the Design tab of the Query Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. That will change the query type. In the Make Table dialog box that appears, you can type a name for the new table that will be created when you run the query. You can also select whether to place the new table into the current database or into another database by selecting the desired option button. If you choose another database, then you will need to click the Browse button that appears and use the dialog box to select the database file into which you want to place the new table. Once you've selected where to place the new table, click the OK button in the Make Table dialog box. Once you are ready, you can run the query to create a new table. When you run a make table query that was based on a select query, Access will delete the select query, so be sure to save a copy before running a make table query if needed. A dialog box will remind you of this if you forget. Next, you'll see a dialog box appear that confirms how many rows you're about to paste into a new table. Click the Yes button in the dialog box to paste the selected rows and fields into a new table. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.